Hello and welcome to this video of machine learning do it yourself series. In this video we are going to solve the real time project as we mentioned in the previous video. So in order to do that I have created an ODBC connection with energy underscore efficiency dot MDB file. You can get this MDB file from the Google Drive link mentioned in the description section of the previous video. So having said that, let's see how we do it. We'll, we'll use a library known as RODBC. If this library is not there, install on your uh, on your uh, R bin or R set of libraries, then you probably have to install packages RODBC. So you can see I'm using library RODBC. Next connect using my database my DB and ODBC connect is the keyword and energy is the name of the data source please note that the name energy is the name of the DSN the DSN which we created using the energy underscore efficiency dot MDB file I'll show you the DSN this is the DSN system DSN which I have created you can see that the data source name is energy and this is the database I have located this database on C drive R folder energy underscore efficiency dot MDB so please make sure that you have created an ODBC data source administrator ODBC Microsoft access setup this is the name of the windows which is how to create an ODBC connection search on the internet how to create an ODBC connection it's very simple you have to click on add once on add give the data source name and then on the database select and select the database you want to choose so let's connect with that it's connected now we have to write a query so I have written a query select start from energy please note again that energy here is now a table so in the energy underscore efficiency MDB database we have energy table and now this query will show you the data not the data but the the query now this query needs to be fired against this DSN so SQL query channel is my DB which is your connection to the database query is my query so here channel is the keyword query is the keyword and string at factors as false I'm gonna write this and it's gonna get the data so if I just do results underscore df you can see that all the data I have been able to gather so results df is your results data frame using the SQL query channel query which is my query and string as false so this is the method by which you can get data from any database let's say Oracle, MySQL, Teradata any database which supports ODB, ODBC connection even for the big data as well so now the next step is understand this data and split the data to train and to test but before that you can see the ID here one two three four is just a one up number it's a serial number so I'm gonna get rid of this column ID but I'm gonna keep all other columns so this means that I'm going to get all the columns except one run the pairs command to understand the correlation between each pairs and this is plotted I'm gonna zoom in this is heating how is it paired up with gazing chart sorry gazing area gazing area here this this is distance orientation height roof and so on and so forth so this is the correlation 
which is plot I have done for all the variables and I am going to look at cooling load and heating load. So here cooling and heating load are kind of linearly correlated that means the load for heating or cooling is, is kind of the same. If the heating load based on the temperature and all of the radius parameters increase the cooling load also increases. So let's go big deeper and we will gonna talk we are going to talk about this as and when we go for uh, linear regressions and other reg regression as well but for now we are going to prepare the test and the train data so these are the commands which are going to help us to prepare the test and train, train data this is sample size I'm going to take the number of rows and get the 75 percent of the records for sample size then I'm going to set a seed 1 2 3 you can have any number this is going to make sure that your random sample or your whatever the sample size is going to be the same and this is the train the the training indicator or the number of rows for training and i'm going to use the sample size train df results I'm going to have the train data frame and this is going to be the test data frame. So train data frame is going to have, you can see here, train data frame has 506 observations, that means records, and the test is 192. So the total of 768 is broken down into 192 of test and 576 of train observations. So now for training purposes, I'm going to use train underscore df and for testing the model I'm going to do the test df. Let's do one linear regression for heating and cooling load and then see how it's coming up on a linear regression model. So this is the set of code for linear regression. This is model. I'm going to use the heating load. I'm going to predict the heating load based on the roof. The the parameter roof and using the train data then I'm going to create a model new heating load and I'm going to predict the model using the test data please note that I'm going to predict the model using test data next is I'm going to do a summary how is it the model going to look like let me get rid of this so the model is going to look like this this is for heating load based on the roof data train. The median is very close to zero, which is a good sign. And the first quadrant and minimum and maximum are also in range. That means it is negative 2.7, it is positive 2.5. It is negative 19 and it's 14. Well, it's not really symmetrical, but it is, imagine the plot which we discussed in the previous videos. Uh, next, step to be looking at is multiple R squared. You can see here that we have close to 75.75 which is closer to 1. The, the multiple R squared and adjusted R squared closer to 1 would give you a better uh, predictions. So this looks good. Now let's do a correlation between the new heating load, that means the predicted heating load versus the, the test heating load. So which has 84% of correlation, which is, which is a good sign. Now let's do the same for cooling load, exactly the same. I'm going to use the roof as the, for the linear regression model, you can use any one function or any one parameter or a predictor. So new cooling load, again the same thing. And I'm going to do again the summary. Sorry, should have done LM1. So now LM1 which is for the cooling load, the median is again closer to zero, it's symmetrical, much better 
and you can see the r squared is again 75 which is not too bad at all so let's do a correlation and it's 83.93 percent confidence or, or correlated so this is not too bad so in this answer or it's in trial of the hands-on exercises a practical project we were able to get the data using the ROBD, RODBC connection. We are going to, we are able to get the ODBC connect, create a query and fire the query against the database. Once the results are available, get rid of the first column and do a correlation pairs like this. And then we are going to do a sample size of, you probably don't need a seed here, but check it out how it, how it looks like it and train df and test df which is training data set and training test data set are kind of split uh, based on the total number of records and then we do a simple linear regression model for heating and for cooling so in the next video or this is your a good heads up on how you want to do for a linear regression multiple linear regressions and other regression trees which we have discussed in the previous videos. Thank you for watching.